Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to, in Cricut Design Space, use font glyphs to um, design using text. It's very easy. Uh, so we're going to go from this to this. Okay, the font that I'm using here is Vondi. I will link that in the description. Uh, it's a great font. So a um, couple of other things, like the video, uh, and then follow me. If you subscribe to my channel, you're going to get notification of all the new videos that come out. There'll be quite a few over the next, at least one a week over the next couple of months here. I'm going to show you how to uh, really use design space to the best that it can be used uh, to produce some really great designs. Also, uh, I'll link a couple of groups that I mod and admin on Facebook. Join me on Facebook. Um, lots of free resources that uh, get talked about on there and uh, just a lot of information that you won't find elsewhere. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's get rid of some of this extra stuff so that we have room to work. We'll get rid of that. Put this over just a little. Get rid of this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things. The first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you uh, where to locate uh, character map, which is where you're going to locate these font glyphs. Uh, in Windows 10. There is a version in Windows 10. There's a better version that's free in the Microsoft Store that we will discuss in a moment. But I want you to first see the one in Windows 10 because it's important to know that it's there. Um, so font glyphs. Font glyphs, uh, many fonts today have them. There are hidden characters that you access to uh, use to design your text work. So let's go ahead and first we will, I'll show you how to access the character map in Windows 10. Go down here. Um, this is, I don't know, I call it the start menu. I don't know if that's ringing in character map. And then click on that. Mine is already up down here. So this is what will come up. Now, what you'll want to do, you have to have whatever your font is set to on Design Space. Oops. Whatever your font is set to on Design Space. You have to match that on Character Map or this won't work. Okay, so let's go down to Vondi. Okay, and then what you'll want to do, once you've clicked on that, then you'll go to the character set will already be set to Unicode. That's what you want. Group by, click on that, go down to Unicode subrange, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, private use characters. That's how you bring up the glyphs, okay? And so let's go ahead and switch out the M. So the M that I've used here is this one right here. Select that by clicking on it, then click Select, then click Copy, minimize this, and double click. Click right before your M, delete that, and then right click and click Paste. Basically, you're just copying and pasting out of the character map. Now, we all know that Design Space has some uh, pretty serious issues when it comes to dealing with text. Um, that's why the spacing is always awkward. I don't recommend designing in Design Space. There's a better way. You can design externally and get professional level font work without guessing at the kerning. Um, but for the sake of ease of showing you how to use this, especially for newer users, I'm going to uh, we'll go ahead and, and do this right in Design Space. So you can see how right there it made a mess out of the text, put a big space there. That won't happen when I show you how to do it externally in another video. But for now, right click, click on group. Okay, and we'll select all of these. Oops, not the M. Select everything but the M. And we'll move this over. Okay. Uh, the next one I've done, well, let's, okay, so the next one I've done is a Y, but let's go ahead and switch over to the other character map now because it is much better. So in the Microsoft Store, which you'll locate by clicking the same thing, Microsoft Store, it's right there, it's in Windows 10. Um, and then in the Microsoft Store, search for UI character map, okay, it is a free character map, it's a free download, free app in the in the Microsoft Store, and go ahead and download that and pin that pin that to your bottom row down here so you have access to it easily. Uh, and this is the UI character map, much easier to read than the uh, one in Windows 10. Okay, so the next thing you'll want to do is we used this Y, select that. 
This is used almost the exact same way. This is So you click on it to select it, and then right here, click on that to copy, minimize, and double click your Y, go into the box, right click, paste, get rid of the original Y, and give it a moment to propagate. That's another benefit to designing externally is you don't have these lags like Design Space has. Um, it's so frustrating to design and have it you're constantly lagging like that. So that's that. Um, we'll do the C next. So that's the C. Copy, minimize, double click, paste, get rid of the original. Give it a moment to propagate. Um, but you can already see the, the difference in uh, the level of text work that you're going to be able to do using, um, using glyphs. And you'll be surprised how many fonts have glyphs. Copy. Each. Paste. Rid of that. And then we'll move this over here. The T is next. We're almost done here. Uh, so that I believe is the T that I used. Possibly this one. Let's use that one. Copy. Yeah, I believe this was the right T. Paste. Get rid of the original. Wait for design space. And then the M is the last one. That's the M I used. Copy. Double click. Paste. Get rid of the original M. There you go. So easy peasy. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them below. Uh, and then what you'll need to do once you have this all done, select everything. because Those are all separate characters right now. Go down here in the bottom, click on weld. And then you'll see this all will go into one single layer. So now it is one layer now, and that will cut as a single piece. Super duper easy. Like I said, um, you know, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, lots of good information coming out. Um, make sure you like the video. That way it'll get uh, the most attention for other new users so they can see it as well. And other than that, have a good day. Bye.